Coming up on this week's new cast, the psychology class gets a unique opportunity. Boys wrestling kicks off their season, and our student life segment tests our student body with the three second challenge. All this and more on this week's episode. Get ready because BNN starts now. I'm Manuel Martinez. The Bishop Noel Band ended their fall quarter performing in both Chicago's Columbus Day Parade and the Thanksgiving Day Parade, in both which they were awarded trophies. Most recently, they were given the Spree Decor Award at the Thanksgiving Parade. The band and choir will be presenting their annual Christmas concert on December 18th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission is free. Last month, Ms. Ortega's psychology classes were able to participate in a World Affairs Conference at PNW. Here's Genesis Medina with the story. On November 4th, a group of students attended a World Affairs Conference at Purdue University Northwest. The main discussion point at this conference was on the growing rate of gun violence in America. The conference about gun violence was presented to us by the Rotary Club. The local Rotary Club was sponsoring the club for the visit and so I was able to take my uh, dual credit psychology because we talk about psychological disorders mental health so I thought it would tie in with the information we were going to get. Many students believe that this was a relevant topic that they could apply to their lives. One of the actual uh, parts of the conference we went into this classroom and we talked about uh, mass shootings in school, gun violence in your neighborhood, and we kind of talked about everyone's reaction and how maybe that affected them growing up. The data shown at this conference about gun violence in America led to confusion, sadness, and helped open many people's eyes to the increasing problem of gun violence. You get confused and you get sad because like you see just the numbers that you see of it you just don't expect of how many people who are actually affected from gun violence. And we all experience a lot of gun violence throughout our lives, whether it's us personally or our family members, so I thought it was really important to make us aware of like how da how dangerous guns are in our area. Students were able to relate to the effect gun violence has on everyone. But I thought it was uh, very beneficial to know because when you know that knowledge, you can then apply it to maybe people that don't know that. In the future, students and Ms. Ortega hope to attend more of these conferences and learn about more issues that are affecting the United States. The last conference has opened my eyes to how we as a school and students can do to change the area around us. So I think it's important not just for like one class to go, but to make it so that everyone has a chance to go. I would definitely hope that we have the opportunity to take the students for more conferences, especially about issues that affect society, mental health, and put it together so that it's not just a classroom book kind of a thing, but that they can apply it to the real world. The Shipnall Shakespeare Slam Group returned to in-person competition for the first time since COVID with a regional competition at Morgan Park Academy in Chicago. Here's Bradley Dorsey with the story. Two weeks ago, Bishop Knowles' Shakespeare Slam team competed in regionals for a chance to make state and perform at the Shakespeare Chicago Theater in January. The play that they performed was their very own creatively altered version of King Richard second III. Second scene, so we're doing two scenes. We're doing a scene from Richard III, and then the second thing is called the dream round. Um, we're just like a, gr a dream. Things are crazy and ma mixed up, and you don't know where everything's coming from. So it is a splice of lines from Richard III with lines from the movie Singing in the Rain, and we're doing kind of a social commentary with that second one. Um, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of interesting facts relating to the play is uh, since it is a history, it is based on real people and real events, though some of it is dramatized, and uh, the main character, Richard, that's my character, uh, they actually found his skeleton like under like a parking lot in like the UK or something. Of tragedy and comedy. The students were excited to learn more and explore their creative minds while doing research on the play. They put hours of hours of work in, after school to perform the play. Uh, so the first thing that we did is we did a cold read of the entire scene that we're going to do. And then after that, we went through and we cut. And we've just been rehearsing pretty much nonstop. Every moment of rehearsal time counts, you know? I think we have a lot of really good team leaders, so it's a very creative group. So a lot of the staging, 
uh, they initially came up with themselves, and then I just kind of like tweaked and you know, moved people around a little bit. Um, but we've got some stuff that's really funny, so and also really creative in terms of just kind of the use of the stage. So it's a really creative uh, group. Like I said, a lot of leaders who kind of took charge on staging things. So I think we're going to be in, in good stead for uh, the competition. We are And finally, Bishop Knoll will host its second open house of the year on Saturday, December 10th at 1 o'clock. After, after the success of last month's open house, the admissions department is planning for another large turnout, working toward the goal of accepting 230 freshmen next year. Here's Gabby Gomez with more on the story. On November 3rd, Bishop Knoll welcomed 69 8th graders and their families at the first open house of the school year. The open house showed parents and students the academics and opportunities offered at Knoll that other area high schools don't offer. New Director of Admissions, Ms. Carmen Ontiveros, and student ambassadors have been reaching out to area feeder schools in hopes to get some of these junior high students in the doors of Knoll to see what the school can offer. There are many benefits for parents or students um, attending the open house. First, the students and parents get to talk one-on-one -on -one with the principal, with me, and um, teachers, staff. And, and they get to see firsthand our amazing school. Um, it's nothing like coming in person as opposed to imagining what the school looks like. They to see our great facilities, like our amazing Stream Lab, our award-winning Stream Lab. They get to see our programs in action. The band was playing, um, doing a, a rehearsal. They had a rehearsal yesterday. They get to speak one-on-one -on -one with our coaches. And um, I think it's just very beneficial for families to come to an in-person open house. Well, it's in person because of COVID. Um, I know a, a lot of um, things were online or virtual. So I, th I think it's nothing like um, coming in person. It's just a different feeling. You get to talk one-on-one um, -on -one with um, teachers and staff and the principal. And I already received phone calls this morning. So it was first thing in the morning, I received a phone call from a parent who felt that family environment. With over 160 freshmen this year, the expectation that next year's freshman class will grow even larger. The next open house will be Saturday, December 10th. Auntie Barrows hopes for another large turnout. My goal is to increase attendance. Uh, we had about 70 uh, families come in. So I would, I would like to see more families see our wonderful school. Um, another goal was um, to add a couple more stations to our open house and overall I, I wouldn't change um, much to it just like I said increase enrollment and add a couple stations. In sport news, the girls basketball team will play at home tonight against Calumet at 6. The boys will play at Calumet on Saturday at 6. The boys and girls swim team will continue the Warriors competition against Calumet with a meet on Monday, December 5th at 5. Wrestling will meet at Hanover on Tuesday at 6. With more on the wrestling team, here's Adrian Guerrero. Bishop Knowles wrestling team is looking to start the season with sending more wrestlers to state this year. This year's wrestling team is looking better with the drive and determination the goal this year is to make it to semi-state. I think our team has a pretty good shot this year. The BNI wrestling team has a lot to look forward to from the captains to watching the freshmen improve. I feel pretty good. We got a, a good team, good coaches. Everything is lined up to be a good season. I think the new wrestlers are going to be pretty good this year. If we um, train them hard enough, they'll be pretty good. This year we have a lot more discipline and we got a good flow this year and there's not a lot of there's not a lot of problems. Everything's set in stone. Thank you to the new AD. I'm very confident this year. We have all the fundamentals down, and now we're more of an advanced team, and we go over more advanced things. EC is the biggest rival, I think, to know this year.
On this week's Student Life segment, teachers and students will be playing the competitive three-second challenge game. Contestants will have three seconds and will be timed to answer the question, As and if they go over the three-second mark, they will not get the point and get it wrong. They will have only three seconds to answer the question, and whoever gets the most points at the end wins. Apple, orange, banana. Apple, orange, banana. Apples, oranges, cherries. Apple, vegetable, or apple, um, banana. <laughs> Indiana, Illinois, Ohio. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. Yeah. Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin. Ohio, um, Nevada, and <laughs> West Virginia. Charms, Corn Flakes, Raisin Bran. Fruity Pebbles, Lucky Charms, Wheaties. Kellogg's? <laughs> oh my god. I named one. I named okay. one. Kellogg's. Um, Chex Mix, um, Trix, and uh, Captain Crunch. Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Time's I, I up. <laughs> Chanel Dior Gucci. Oh, come on. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Gucci, um, Dior, and Louis Vuitton. Okay. Just